Hello everybody, welcome to Castle Fans TV. I'm joined here by uh, Rob and by Paul. Say hi. <gasps> hi, lads. Hello. Good evening. Yeah. Uh, before we get started, make sure you download the OneFootball app for all the latest news, transfers and gossip uh, around the football world. Um, right, so we're going to talk, be, be talking about uh, VAR in, uh, in this video. And its impact next season has been a big talking point uh, with the England match recently. Do you think it's a good thing that VAR is being introduced into the Premier League? Well, firstly, when I used to work as an estate agent, uh, or travel agent rather, a customer, walked in, going? <laughs> customer walked into the shop said he wanted to go somewhere hot and secluded. So I locked him in the photocopier room. <laughs> Yeah, um, how will VAR well, uh, affect the Premier League? I think... Paul, can you talk instead? It takes me time to recuperate after Rob's puns. Uh, we need it, we, in fact, we need it. That should be the new T-shirt range. Rob's puns, shouldn't oh, it? Oh. Imagine then they'll be Bob's beans. So, so, on, back back to me. On, okay, so how will VAR affect the Premier League? Um, I think it's it's definitely been needed. It was needed in this season just gone. You look at the shocking decisions that have gone by. I mean, by shocking decisions, I mean, they've been a regular occurrence this season. It's sort of thing at, at such a high level, you'd only expect to have you know just a, a small handful per year but this season we've seen one nearly every week that's not good enough for this level they did a um, a piece that i was looking at before and they worked out how many extra points we would have got mm. if some of the even just crazy decisions had gone our way and it was something like 10 points extra now you think about that in a league campaign mm. and the money mm. per place and that can be absolutely huge, uh, you know. For some clubs, I mean, think of Cardiff. They're one that have been mm, really, yeah, really hard done by. Cardiff, you could, yeah. you could argue that really that bad decisions have cost them a Premier League place. And I think it puts the onus as well on the players not to cheat. And it's mm. the, the, the rapid it was gamesmanship, but it's cheating. Let's just be honest about yeah, it. Definitely. And the players have got to get it into their minds that they need to stop the histrionics, they need to stop the diving, the cheating, they're trying to simulate stuff, uh, because that needs to be cut out. Uh, and I think at first, I think there's gonna be quite a lot of calls going on, but I think the players will cotton on. You can't get away with it, so just don't do it in the first place and play you know, in the spirit of the game. So I think it ultimately will improve it, but I think at first, next season, I think there's going to be lots of start stop, and that's going to probably be a bit, a little bit annoying, especially if you're in a ground where there's no screen mm. or anything like that. Slightly mm. annoying, but I thought it worked a lot better than I expected in last year's World Cup, for instance. Mm. And uh, it is going to be stop start, but at, at the end of the day, you want the right decision, don't exactly. you? It builds the drama up as well, though. You know, when the when the yeah. when they're going over and everything, and it's it's like. When you're in the stadium and you've not got that information to hand, I think they need to work on that. But when you're watching it, watching it at home as a spectacle, uh, I, I do think it adds a, a certain uh, extra dimension uh, to it. It builds the drama up. And again, rather than getting away from talking points and you think, oh, there won't be that to talk about when I see mm. my mates or whatever, it actually adds a whole new layer. And it's still subjective and mm. stuff, so it still yeah. causes uh, a debate. But if it's going to knuckle down on some of these crazy decisions that some of the so-called uh, bigger teams get, then I'm all for it. And it might even protect the referees, because you see so many referees nowadays getting bullied, especially at you know, grassroots level. Well, you're not going to have VAR at grassroots level. But you know you, you see you know lots of assaults that are going on at, at, for, for referees, and I think, well, hopefully this VAR being brought in, it'll give the referees more protection. It also gives the likes of Mike Dean <laughs> um, and I think of him straight away, it, it yeah. takes away a, a, an excuse, doesn't it? Mm. Uh, it stops him tr trying to be uh, the centre of decision on the decisions. He knows that if he makes an absolutely ludicrous decision, like he does week in, week out, mm. that the VAR referee will just flag it up as needing to be yeah. looked at. Um, yeah. it, kind of, it kind of kills the excuse, you know, the manager say, you know, referee didn't get this, referee didn't get that. Yeah. If it's conclusive, then they can't say anything, can exactly. they? Yeah, yeah. And it's, it's going to stop all of that. Uh, no doubt the likes of Mike Dean, who would love to be centre of attention, will take the time walking over to, to the monitor in and soak that side of it up. But it's, it should stop some of the absolutely ridiculous and stupid decisions that some of these refs are making. And it should stop some of the stupid and ridiculous stuff that some of the players are, are doing and getting away with. And this gamesmanship needs to uh, stop. And um, I mean, I think even like some of the games last season, like the Man United one, where we could have benefited from penalties and stuff. Yeah. Uh, that sort of thing where it's clear and obvious 
previous uh, it's going to help the so-called lesser teams out and hopefully equal up the, uh, the league a bit I think bottom line is there's been too many Appalling decisions. Oh, jeez. Point of that. Keep your hair on, Paul. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> Will's look. He's lost the, he's lost the, the will to live. Oh, it's, it's contagious. It's, red. <laughs> oh, it, it's, like, it's like a zombie apocalypse. <laughs> Lee, do you want to take the lead on this? Oh, oh my word. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like being I'm back sometimes. <laughs> I've just robbed the show. Oh yeah. <laughs> I've just done, done a pun for each of us. Do you see why I stay in Manchester? Do you see what I miss out on? It's not much. Um, back to, back to Earth, lads. <laughs> Will you? Um, oh, <laughs> um, but, it's contagious. Uh, um, talking about some of the logistical issues of um, VAR. Probably the biggest one is actually seeing the decisions because normally when there is a um, a decision being reviewed, you know, it just says on the screen, decision being reviewed. Um, I think there is something where they're going to be putting footage yeah. on the screens. Do you think that'll help to give more clarity to the fans on what's going on? There needs to be, but yeah. I mean, you know, you look at St James's Park and half the stadium will be able to see it and half won't. I know there's mm -hmm. going to be PA announcements and stuff, but whether the club invest in more technology. Uh, and then, because Seriously. because let, let's be honest, uh, if you're trying to get a signal in St James's Park, you can, you can forget about it. So there's all this we talk about an app and stuff that isn't going to work. No. Why are you trying to read Twitter during a game though? Well, this is the thing, and you're going to be sitting there and trying to get a signal, and you end up just throwing your phone on the floor. So it needs to be, you know, this is more a problem with your South Pole than actually like St James's Park's issue right now. <laughs> yeah, well, to be honest, it's like, it, it is, it, it's infuriating at present if you're trying to get a single inside of St James's mm -hmm. Park as it is. But then if you're giving 50,000 people an app to look at these VAR stuff, it's going to just be chaos. I mean, they need to put it on the interactive, uh, you know, the advertising boards. They can put some stuff on there mm. uh, to let fans know what's going on. It'll go up in the screen, and I think eventually we're going to have to have more screens up. Do you think Mike Ashley would allow his Sports Direct signs to be put in the way of VAR decisions? Well, hopefully, Mr. Ashley is absolutely long gone. In fact, by the time this video goes out, I hope and pray to whatever God there is that Mike Ashley is no longer there. That would be absolutely a fantastic present for me. Um, so, yeah, get rid of him. Don't want him anyway. Yeah. Lee? Um, Lee? <laughs> You're not Lee. Gary. <laughs> um. <Yeah>, right. <laughs> <laughs> Don't make us do this video again. <laughs> oh dear me. Oh my uh, god. Oh. Right, um Rob. Um logist uh, again talking more about the logistical <laughs> issues. Like do you think that we need to arrive at um, some conclusion to help half the stadium actually see what the decisions are going on because there's that one screen which is only visible to half the stadium. <clears throat> Difficult to say for St James's Park. It, it works in cricket, in, in international cricket, when everyone has, you know, cricket grounds are so open that everyone has a good view of whatever screen that there is there. Everybody's Same. asleep though when they're watching that, aren't they? <laughs> Any sport that takes five days to play and you still don't know who bloody won it at the end of it. I'd stop that straight away. I'm not having that like. St James's <laughs> Park, it's very closed, isn't it? And and like like Paul says, half will, half won't. Yeah, half will, half won't. <laughs> oh, um, difficult to say. I, I hope there will be some sort of arrangement where all fans will be satisfied. I, I don't I don't know off the top no, of my head. No, no, actually, it'd probably get uh, Lee Chanley to go out in a skimpy outfit with one of them boards and go out the box. <laughs> VAR decision in progress. Because at least he'd be some sort of use to the club there. Use his £300,000 a year budget for that. So, you know, instead of like, uh, you know, somebody else coming out, just a long or somebody, it's just Lee Chanley coming out and just saying VAR. And he can walk to the halfway, show everybody the sign, it's VAR, walk back. We've saved ourselves a few quid. Don't know how I think of it. Let us know what you think in the comments below. Let us know your inventive suggestions to get all the stadium to know what's going on in a football match. Uh, let us know what you this think of Rob's puns. This has been Let the best VAR debate ever. This has you been won't, the best VAR debate. You won't get this on Sky Sports, I'll tell you that. <laughs> let us know what you think in the comments down below. Like and subscribe. See you later. Bye-bye.